Okay, hey guys, so this is a pretty, well, it's not like super large, but um, I feel like Becky over at Two Timing Tart has not getting been getting a lot of love lately. She's like, she doesn't restock really on a regular basis, and I just really wanted to support her, and I don't know, I feel like she needs more... She needs more love over there. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put in an order. I was like, she had a couple things left on her site. And I'm like, let me just buy some of this stuff for me. <laughs> because I was so happy with my other mystery box that I got two mystery boxes and three bags of brittle. Now, I was saying the other day that I, I kind of hate buying bags of brittle or bags of any large quantities of anything. But that's all she had on her site. So I was like, whatever. You know, I'll warm through it, and my daughter likes wax just as much as me, so, you know, sometimes she takes things on her own, and she doesn't really mind warming through the same thing over and over again. So, Becky had said that this was one of her favorite. I'll just start off with the bags. I just have three bags, and then the rest are mystery tarts, and I'll go through those really quick. Uh, rhubarb ginger, she was saying this is one of her favorite jams, I believe. I'm trying to remember. She told me who... Like, I think maybe it was her grandma's, or maybe she gets it. I don't know. I'll have to insert a, clip, a thing in here, because she did tell me what it was from. It was It's one of her favorite jams, though. Rhubarb ginger, yes. And so, this one, I'm not really familiar with rhubarb, to be honest. But this one is sharp, and it's kind of sweet. And it's kind of good. I kind of really like this. It's a different kind of ginger than what I've smelled in like, because I've smelled a few gingers lately. This really is a nice one. This is a nice kitchen one. This one would be really good if you have been warming something really stinky in your kitchen. If you were cooking like a lot of meat or what's something that really like smells up your kitchen or if you've had like a roast going all day, this would be a good scent to to put, uh, put in and this would clean out your kitchen and make it smell amazing pretty darn quick, I bet. I have good luck with two timing tart as well, warming in my 20 watts and also my Scentsy warmers. I need to try her stuff in a 24 watt just to see how it does. Her wax is soy wax, so I don't know, we'll have to see. By Felicia is gin and Fruit Loops. Yeah, is that what it is? It's gin and Fruit Loops, I believe. She has really funny scent descriptions on her site as well. This is really cool. She like loaded this one up with some glitter. I don't know if you can see if you can see in there or not. I don't know if you can see the glitter she's got going on in there. Oh, she's got glitter on this one too. You just can't, it's kind of like a pink. So this one is mostly Fruit Loops. I'm trying really hard to smell to see if I can smell that gin. I do feel like I smell some sort of alcohol type no. It's heaviest on the Fruit Loops though. So my daughter really does like Fruit Loops. I'm for, like not the biggest lover of Fruit Loops, but like I said, my daughter likes to take some of these too as well. So I think, let's see, is this Elsie is, let me think. I wanna say it's vanilla tea leaves with blackberry. Yeah, I did ask her about this one because I am not a huge fan of blackberry and I was really interested more in the vanilla tea. She's actually got some really pretty glitter going on in here. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty. This one is blackberry dominant. But I can smell there's some vanilla going on in here that I do like. And it kind of... I can kind of smell some tea. She's got an interesting blackberry. I don't know that I've smelled this blackberry. It's a good blackberry. It's different than other blackberries that I've smelled before. So that one is good. Okay, so I did get another sachet. I'm not sure what the scent is supposed to be in here. I didn't ask her. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what the scent is in here, but I love these because I love to put things in my drawers to make them smell good. 
So I'm gonna go through quickly. I, in my last haul, if you wanna see some of the, like more of the scent descriptions, bourbon and brown sugar, her bourbon and brown sugar is amazing. It smells just like it says. Sunday brunch is a pancakes and like maple syrup. Very, very good, love that one. Uh, we got birthday cake. So I did two mystery boxes with 20 tarts each. Birthday cake is not my favorite, and this smells very similar to another birthday cake that another popular vendor makes that I'm not a fan of. So I'll have to mix that with something, which will be no problem. Um, I got a mystery tart, no point in showing that. Green amber, I have not smelled this one. I do like finding that I like amber scents. Ooh, that one is very green smelling. I like that, that's a very green, fresh, spa type scent. I like that, green amber. Okay, tiger lily. I don't think I've ever had a tiger lily before. Wow, okay, that is weird. That is not like floral like I was thinking it would be at all. Huh, that's interesting. It smells almost kind of sweet. With a little bit of floral, not at all floral like I would thought. Sometimes you get florals and it's just like, it's too much, you know? Cuc cucumber, wasabi, cilantro. That one, I, if I remember from my other video, was sharp. Like, I mean, it was strong. <laughs> it was like one that's not for the weak hearted. Burnt sugar, zucchini bread. I did this one as well, came in my last order. That one, um, if you've never had burnt sugar before, it's definitely a scent to try if you like if you like like sweet bakery scents. Lemon curd marshmallow, I did talk about that one. That one was a, a great one, I did like that. Teakwood cardamom lemon verbena was also in my other video. That was a great one as well. Um, aqua verbena I got in my last one. So I'm glad that I have two of these now because yeah, this one's good. I feel like this is a dupe of something but it's kind of like a manly water scent. Um, I like having two of these now. Oh, I got another bur bourbon brown sugar, so that's awesome. I do love that scent. Let's see, we got black and blue lemonade, which I do like her lemonade. Her lemonade is some good stuff. It's like that iced lemonade that actually smells like it's sitting on ice, which I adore. Uh, Mr. Darcy is one that I got a bag in my last order. I'm trying to remember what was all in here. Oh, what is that? Uh, you probably have to watch my other video because I had I had a description of it. The actual scent description, but that is good. I know that's not very helpful. <laughs> so, oh, Enchanted Apple. Let's see what that smells like. Because I do like apple scents. Enchanted Apple almost smells like, I wanna say it almost reminds me of Winter Garden, or no, what is that? Winter, oh, Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works. That's what it smells like to me. That's Enchanted Apple. Okay, Sugar Cane, that's probably, I mean, I probably don't need to smell that one. That's probably pretty self-explanatory. Shanghai Chai, ooh. Sounds so mysterious. Woo, that one is strong. Wow, it's almost like, what is that? It's almost like a spice market, like that strong spice market. I don't know how much chai I'm getting in there, but that one, woo, that is not for the faint hearted either. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, butterscotch bread pudding. I had this one in my last order as well. This one was really nice. And I don't typically like butterscotch scents, but this one is not strong on that butterscotch. She's got a good blend of that. Uh, snowman balls, I'm trying to think. This is probably maybe peppermint something. Ooh. This smells like a, sen a scentsy thing that they had a while back. It really reminds me of something Scentsy did and I feel like they discontinued it. Oh, okay, I know what I'm smelling. I'm smelling Christmas tree. I'm smelling like a balsam tree in there. I like that. I'm glad I got that because I was wanting some like 
tree scents. Um, is this Posidian? I feel like that's a show. Ooh, that one's pretty. Hmm, I might have to look up and see what that is. I don't know how to quite to describe that one, but she definitely has a a flair for scents. Um, you know, different things. Like, not things that you would get. That's what I was saying in my warm reviews. Like, I feel like I'm tired of, like, pink loops. You know, pink pink sugar and fruit loops and zucchini marshmallow and I don't know. I just want different. Holy crap. Cedar saffron. Ooh, that one is sharp. <laughs> saffron, I'm pretty sure it's a spice. I need to look and see who like who makes this spice because I feel like I've had saffron before, but it's definitely stronger on the saffron than the cedar. Okay. I'll try to keep this moving pretty fast here. Uh, green tea willow. And I, I do remember talking about that one in my last video. Rice crispy treats. Let's try this one. I don't remember smelling that one. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good mixer. You know, I can see mixing that with something. One of these really strong, sharp scents I might have to um, mix with one of those sweeter ones. Lollipop love or lava or lollipop something i oh lollipop lane <laughs> duh she's probably got the prettiest writing too and i can't i didn't even see that another good mixer this is like I've, i don't think i've ever smelled lollipop on its own this one's nice though i can see mixing this with something okay let's keep this rolling Honeydew Amber Fig. If you watched my other video, you know that I absolutely love this scent. That one is so, so good. Um, the Dark Side has cookies. I think I have a bag of brittle in this one. This was a really good... Yeah, this was like a sweet cookie scent. That one was really nice. Uh, there goes my stomach. Moon Spice Cookies. I've heard of Moon Spice from other vendors. Never tried it. Huh, that's interesting. Moon Spice. It's almost like a spicy cookie. That's what I'm getting from that. Okay, uh, fruit slices. Yep, that smells fruity. <laughs> that one's pretty basic. Uh, Amber Tonka. That one's a little bit light. I'm not really sure what I'm smelling in there. So I won't talk about that one at all. Uh, watermelon Margarita was in my other video as well. That one just smells like Watermelon Margarita. I got another Aqua Verbena, which is good. Uh, Marrakesh was also in my other video. This one smells like an Indian Spice Market, I feel like, if I remember correctly. Turkish Mocha is new. Let's have a whiff of this guy. Ooh, that's nice. That's a very different coffee than anything I've ever smelled, but it's good. Wow, that one's really nice. I think she said that these were a bunch of tester oils that she was trying out, so I'm glad that she's trying some stuff out. Midnight Ice, I don't think I had this one in it. my other order. Ooh, okay. That has some sort of peppermint something going on. Kind of with a perfumey note. I have a feeling that that midnight is something... Like I feel like there's like a midnight... Uh, what am I trying to think of? I feel like there's like a midnight oil out there. But it's got a different name. And it's mixed with like a peppermint something. Green Amber. Did I smell this one already? I feel like I got two of these. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Okay, Mermaid Kiss, I got in my last order and I really liked that one as well. That was just a great ocean perfumey kind of note. Island Nectar, let's have a whiff of this guy. Yeah, this smells like a guava or like a, a cantaloupe. 
topical. Okay, honey almond. And I remember, I think I got this in my last order and I remember that this one didn't smell like honey or almond. So I was glad because I don't like either of those. Oh, actually, wait, no, it does. Take, I take that back. I take that back. It does smell like, I smell almond. But I think I kind of remember liking it a little bit. I don't remember. Um, rice flour, shea, and sandalwood. Is that how you say that? Shea? I do like her rice flour scent. I do have a bag of rice flour from her. I think it's honeyed rice flour, actually. Some, or I, honeyed rice. The sandalwood is not that strong in there, which I do enjoy because I don't love sandalwood all that much. So, Rebel Musk. <clears throat> oh, that one's good. Yeah, that one ha definitely has like a earthy, ethnic, I guess would be the right word to that. Uh, oh, ocean, ocean mint. That one would probably be really good. Let's see what that smells like. Yeah, that's heavy on the peppermint. We'll have to see if the ocean comes out on that one. So obviously I have quite a few tarts here. I just have four more. Um, Lady in Red. Okay, this smells like a... Um, <laughs> this smells like another Scentsy duplication. But I can't think of what it is right now. It almost has like a berry scent going on in there. Um, ooh, I don't know. Maybe you guys can figure what that is. I feel like I've heard this word before, but I can't think. That's like a nice, like light, like light floral. Kind of something grandma might put on as like a perfume. Kind of sweet. I like that one. Okay, and then Bliss. Ooh, that one's fruity. Yeah, not a big fan of fruity, but I'll always mix. I can mix it with something. And then we've got last but not least, Mandarin Pomegranate Tomato Leaf. So I have a ton of tarts. Mmm. I don't like pomegranate, but in there it's pretty good. Yeah, that, that one is quite unique. That's what I love about her. She just does like these really unique scents and different oils that you wouldn't expect to find anywhere else. So I love Two Timing Tart. Uh, I feel like she should get a little bit more love. Now, she doesn't restock on the regular like most vendors do. So sometimes, you know, you really have to kind of be looking out for her. But I've had good luck with her wax. I have some that I think is probably cured for a little bit now that I can start getting into. But like these newer things, I'll let sit around for a little bit because um, I have found... I had stuff from I think almost a year and a half old that did really well for me. So... I'm going to let her stuff just kind of sit around. But I think maybe her stuff is good to go as well. I might test some out just to see and save my favorites <laughs> for later on down the road. But, um, yeah, I like Two Timing Tart a lot. She's a great vendor. I think she's underrated. You know, she's not... She works a full-time job, and this is her side thing. So, yeah, she kind of kicked out a lot of tarts. I think I have a lot of them. Because I bought another mystery box from her as well. So I have quite a few tarts from her now. So anyway, so that's it. So I do have a Tiffany Candles haul coming up again. Like I said, I'm sticking with just my favorite vendors for now. So you'll be seeing like Tiffany Candles and Super Tarts and Two Timing Tart when I can. Um, who else? Um, I have Bathing Garden coming at some point. But that won't be for a little bit. I did do a small order from Bathing Garden. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it, you guys. And, of course, the warm reviews will keep coming because I need to keep melting. And, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you all are having a good day. Okay, bye.